Graffiti, or street art as it's sometimes called, depending on who you ask, is a hot topic in Montreal. Illegal, yes, but some of it is so breathtaking that city officials and street artists are working together to create a happy medium. I'm the king of rock, the rock. The Fresh Paint Gallery on St. Catherine Street East has taken street art and graffiti to a whole new level. Founder and iconic Montreal artist Sterling Downey says his goal is to strip street art of its misunderstood reputation. The idea for this gallery was to bring people indoors into a more comfortable and safe context in which they could explore and have a dialogue about about this culture, about what is the, the idea behind street art and, and, and graffiti. There's going to be people who are older, who weren't subjected to it for their generation, so they're going to be opposed to it. They're going to have an issue with it, because they're not going to understand it. There's the anonymous side of it, which is, which is very powerful, and the romantic kind of side of it. So that creates a little bit of uncertainty for people, so it creates a fear, so that people feel they have to draw this line. Last year, the NDG Côte de Neige borough imposed a bylaw prohibiting graffiti on all buildings in the area but there are exceptions to the law. This mural on the corner of Sherbrooke and DeCary is an example of that exception. It was commissioned by the borough to promote legal graffiti. NDG City Councilor Susan Clark says she only takes issue with street art when it's done without the borough's permission. Permission or not permission? If something's done with permission, then it can be considered art. We don't want to end up having the entire borough nothing but mural because we change the character. But the distinction really is when we pay for these murals, these things were done with a plan so that it doesn't become a free for all. While the bylaw remains in effect for most of the year, it will be suspended during the upcoming winter months when it's too cold to spray paint. It remains to be seen whether this will encourage artists to brave the cold for their craft. For Concordia News, I'm Camille Chakra.